the iPhone 10 is a scam. Didn't, don't you know? Didn't you hear? So let me tell you something about the, the new iPhone, huh? I'm an Apple fan, right? I have a MacBook, an iPhone, I have an iPod, an iPad, and all the other Apple things that fanboys have. But even I, when I saw the iPhone 10 was announced, thought, why are they calling it the iPhone X? But even I thought, this isn't such a big deal. So I'm gonna make a list going through exactly what makes this phone not special. To get the simplest one out of the way, there's no headphone jack on the phone. I have the iPhone 7. I've learned to live with it. It's still annoying, and it still sucks that there's no headphone jack on there. The headphone jack gets taken away, presumably so you can make the phone better in some hardware-related way. You see, when the headphone went away in the iPhone 7, I was like, okay, they're making a change and they'll capitalize on it in the future. This phone is IP67 water resistant. Now if it was IP68, that would be great. But with the iPhone 10, the phone isn't any thinner and it's not any more waterproof. So why, what have they taken the headphone jack away for? What benefit has it given to the phone? A little bit of an extra speaker? Eh. Because they've taken away the headphone jack, you have to use lightning headphones or a lightning connector. Why, when all the other phones on the market, smartphones, and even the new MacBook Pros have USB-C, why does the iPhone 10 not have USB-C. The short answer, as can be attributed to most things, is money. You see, every time a company sells a lightning connector accessory, or a lightning headphones, or a lightning dock connector, or anything else, Apple makes a little bit of money, because they're using an Apple proprietary port, right? So Apple wants that little sales commission tagged on to every product, because if they sell USB-C, they don't get that. If you've ever used an iPhone 7, you know that it's not actually a button, it's just an area on the phone where they've added a vibration using the Taptic engine. And I understand why they've taken away Touch ID, because they wanted the full screen display. I'm actually not super mad about Touch ID, depending on how well Face ID ends up being. But why take away the home button as well? Why make it the little swipe up thing? That's just... To me, that's bad design. Speaking of bad design de decisions, what the knock is those bunny ear things, man? I don't... It's... It, those things are not good design choices, right? You can have those little notched areas in the top, but why don't you do the design like this? Because in that case, the screen itself would still be rectangular. This is my other issue, the screen. Now, as always, the screen could always be higher resolution. The screen itself isn't actually as big as it looks, the bezel-less display. The screen isn't rectangular. <laughs> at the top, you've got the notch issue, and at the bottom, it curves around, so you have to cut it off at a point for the screen to be rectangular, which means for videos, there's not actually that much more space to watch it than there would be on the iPhone 8, let alone the iPhone 8 Plus. If you want to use the whole screen, you cut off a lot of video, so there's no there's no point in doing that. <sighs> so to recap, it's not waterproof, it's not USB-C, no headphone jack, those damn bunny ear things, and no home button. So, I mean, I hear the camera's nice, but, you know, I mean, wireless charging is cool, and it's cool to have a bigger screen, but without the home button, how do you do the thing where the screen comes down so you can reach it? It's a compromise. It's not as good as people say. Quite easily, it could be a lot better. That's my biggest issue. For all intents and purposes, it's a good phone. Ignoring the whole iPhone 7S thing that they're calling an iPhone 8. The iPhone 10 is a pretty good upgrade, but USB-C, that's an easy thing to add into the phone. IP68 waterproofing, I understand that might be a bit harder, but without a headphone jack, what extra... The S8 has a headphone jack and is IP68, so where, you know, what's the... And the notch, that's an easy fix, software design-wise. Oh, and another thing, the, the, the camera sticks out still. It's a dumb thing to keep doing. When you put it down, it's like... It's face ID, that's cool, but it would not be nice to still have Touch ID, I guess. I'll still buy it, I'm still an Apple fan, sure. But, uh, it just makes me tired, as you can see from my hair. This is, I didn't just wake up, this is what the iPhone 10 did to me, right here, okay? As an Apple fan, uh, this is my message to Apple, please do better. You're making good products, what's the, what's the thing that you always used to say, think different? Well maybe, just a little bit, think like everyone else, please, can you do that for us? Because it would just make it cool to be able to charge your iPhone with the same cord that you charge your MacBook with. That's me done, that's all I got to say. Ah, uh, why do I love Apple so much? It's... You know, I just gotta settle for all these shitty products. Alright, well, thanks for watching that. I'm sure that Tim Cook will take a lot of notes from this 
well-researched and beautifully presented video, he will cancel the iPhone 10 launch and he'll say, no, we can't release until we fixed everything that Daniel, Daniel said, so... <coughs> Credit, H3H3. <laughs>